Hey everybody and welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. So I've finally done it. I have bought the methyl hydrate. Here it is here. Methyl hydrate. So multiple subs have told me that this stuff is fantastic for um, burning uh, in a stove. So what I have done is I used my homemade tin can stove, put the methyl hydrate in, and we're going to be cooking it in this pot. This is a Tokes titanium pot. And I thought it'd be really cool. It's 750 milliliters, and it actually has um, the uh, amounts inside as well. And it's got a handle, but it also has a bale that comes with it. So which is gonna handy with the tripod that I got. I can actually um, hang that up. So I'm gonna see um, how this methyl hydrate works. Does it um, have uh, a lot of soot? Does it burn too quickly? Um, let's see what happens. So let's light this sucker up. I'm going to put you down and get a, a lighter and actually I'll go over here because I've never lit this and it's, I'm not sure how volatile. Oh, there it goes. Okay. That works. All right. She is lit. You guys probably can't see that. So it probably takes another 30 seconds or so to go through those little holes. Remember how it burns out the little holes. So I'm going to put the pot on here. You guys can probably still see inside there. And we'll wait until the inner chamber um, or the outer chamber heats up to the point where the gas actually uh, catches fire and those little holes will um, burn gas uh, out of them. So we'll just wait. While we're waiting, I will put the lid on. It's kind of cool, this lid, um, it stays up um, if you want to. And you can just kind of move it over. Yeah, there we go, and it stays up, which is pretty cool if you don't want to burn your hands. There, it's starting to go now. And the little burners on the side are lit. And we now have blue flame, almost invisible flame. Okay, so um, I've edited out the time that it took. It probably took 45 seconds to a minute, probably two to three times longer than the, um, the alcohol or the fondue fuel. Um, not that that makes a big difference to me, but just so I'd let you know. Um, it's burning good now, and we'll see how long it takes to boil 700 or so milliliters of water. Well, so far, sorry guys, so far, zero soot extremely hot and it's only been boiling or been on the water for maybe two minutes and it looks like it's just about to roll over as a boil. So this methyl hydrate works really well. So I'm going to be using I think this and the fondue fuel as uh, two definite options. Fondue fuel of course is way more expensive. Methyl hydrate um, apparently you can get a large containers of it at uh, Home Depot and stuff. I just got one of these at the country grocer. It was as expensive as the fondue, but uh, apparently you can get some like a couple of liters for almost nothing. So we got pretty much a boil now, um, and we're looking at probably uh, two and a half minutes. This is what the uh, can looks like. Those homemade cans sure make good stoves. That's for sure. If you are interested in knowing how to make one of these, I have a video on exactly how to make it, what the different steps are uh, to making one of these stoves, which is basically a no-cost um, stove to make. All right, so we got a boil going. Um, yeah, so thank you to you guys, you subs that um, suggested uh, methyl hydrate. It's an excellent choice. I'm going to be using that for sure. And um, yeah, so I'm going to not waste this hot water. I think I'll make myself a cup of coffee and... Uh, enjoy the uh, the fruits of my labor you guys have a great day thanks for subbing 
And if you're not a subscriber, please feel free to do so. Like and share. And I'll talk to you guys next time.